How's it going guys? Let me cheer for Aviation Time and today we will be taking a look at Tom Cruise Top Gun Maverick, the update that was just recently released with Flight Simulator 2020. It added a whole lot of new activities to the game, including two new categories of challenges and F-18 training. Um, the movie's coming out in I think a few weeks to a month and obviously like I do with new updates, we're going to take a look at the new content added. Today we're going to start off with the FA-18E uh, training. Uh, there are three different, um, I don't want to say missions, but three different activities or things for you to learn. Uh, we'll do all three in this video as they're only about two minutes each. The first will be a high performance takeoff, the second a ridge crossing, and the third a split S maneuver. Later on we'll do the other activities, but for now we're starting off here. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. Comment down below any video suggestions, flight suggestions, or any feedback. It's always greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications so you know when we post any new aviation related content. Hope you guys enjoy, and we're going to start off with high performance takeoff. So, uh, we're going to start off with the high performance takeoff, like I just said. Um, we'll be at Fallon Nas, I think it's Fallon Naval Air Station. I don't know where it is in the US, but we're in the FA-18E slash F Super Hornet today. Uh, the menu here. So sometimes, I mean, F-18 take off on short run results of time or they have obstructions, necessitating a high performance takeoff at full afterburner. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna slowly raise the throttles to the mill detent gates and then to max to light the afterburners. We will then raise the landing gear after departure we will then set flaps to auto, which I'm pretty sure it flaps up. And then we're going to hold a pitch of 10 degrees nose up, as well as looking at the velocity or our airspeed. Once we hit 300 knots, we'll then do an unrestricted climb at 45 degrees nose up. So training will be two minutes and clear weather. Let's get started. All right, here we are at Fallon Naval Air Station, Van Voorhis Field. No clue where we are, Welcome to be honest. To the most thrilling nine weeks of your flying career. Holy shit. I'm Lieutenant Diana Dreyer, call sign Apex, U.S. Naval Flight Instructor. I'm here to see if you've got what it takes to be an elite pilot in the FA-18E. Your goal is a high-performance takeoff with an unrestricted climb in full afterburner. First, follow the lineup and wait procedure. All right, so we're gonna line up on Route 7 here. They want us to stop right there. There's our stopping point right ahead. Never flown at this airfield before. All right. Power to mill and keep the jet centered down the runway. Power now. We're gonna power up to mill for departure. Okay. And keep center line. Max power. Raise the finger lift for afterburner. Full throttle. Up, start climbing. Flaps up. Aim your velocity vector at 10 degrees on your pitch scale. As you pass through 300 knots, waiting for 300 knots, then we're going to pitch up further. Unrestricted climb. Right now, unrestricted climb. And we're going to hold this right here. And within two minutes. And that was that. It's a very small, very short tutorial, but that's an A, 9,943 points. Almost perfect, actually. But that was like my third attempt. I was trying to get an A on it just to show you how it goes. And that's the first one. We're now going to move on to the second tutorial. As you can see here, we'll be doing a ridge crossing next. Let's see what it is. 
So we will be near Pyramid Pyramid Lake. I have once again no clue where that is. We're gonna be at 19,000 feet. We'll do a little climb. We'll then do a 135 degree bank. We're gonna maintain the bank during a descent and then level out at 18,500 feet. So we're in the same aircraft. Once again, we're doing the ridge crossing. Modern air combat pilots need to be proficient in a wide variety of flight, including low-level maneuvers that keep the jet hugging terrain. In this exercise, you will practice the ridge crossing maneuver using clouds to safely simulate mountain ridges. We will be maximizing visibility, maintaining speed, and avoiding negative Gs. We're going to try to roll to and maintain between 90 degrees and 180 degrees on our bank, ideally 135 degrees. Once again, it will only be about two minutes, and weather is looking partly cloudy. Let's get started. Alright, here we are. I think we're in Western America, by the looks of things. Full overcast. Today, we'll focus on ridge crossing, a vital skill for fighter pilots. It's a maneuver that allows pilots to hug terrain such as mountains and ridges. This flight profile allows you to maintain positive G-forces, speed, and a clear view ahead. Approach the top of the cloud, then prepare to perform a roll. Alright, so we're gonna As go you can see, top of the cloud. The bank angle information can't track beyond 45 degrees. At the top of the cloud, maintain a bank angle cloud between 90 and 180 degrees, ideally right at 135. I thought the cloud is our ridge. Push the top. Roll to 135. Lower altitude, making sure to avoid contact with clouds. Roll back to an upright attitude. Now return the jet to straight and level. Stabilize the jet at the base of your descent. All right, there we go. 18,500. Congratulations, you're now ready to try flying low and hugging actual terrain. Beautiful. There we go, 8,219 points. Once again, it took me a few tries to get that. So very fun. They're fun, and they're also very... They're a little challenging. They're actually a pretty decent difficulty to complete well. Um, I think the only downside so far is that they're just short. But it's been very fun. We're now going to take on the third one. As you can see, there's three uh, criteria here. A lot of points in the second bit. And now we're going to take a look at the third training, which is the split S maneuver. So we'll see how this goes. So, once again, we're near Pyramid Lake. Clear skies, F-18, F-A-18E slash F Super Hornet. So... Let's see how well I can demonstrate basic fighter maneuver capabilities of the FA-18E by performing a split S. It is a classic tactic that begins with a half roll and is followed by a half loop and is designed to disengage from a pursuing enemy aircraft. So we're going to begin a roll to 180 degrees inverted. We will then pull gently on the stick. We're going to try not to exceed seven and a half G's at the bottom of the loop here. This is where we'll get the most G's. We'll finish the maneuver flying in the opposite direction from which I began and make any final leveling adjustments. Once again, two minutes. Let's see what happens. All right, here we are. Clear skies of a pyramid lake. 18,000. Let's see how well you handle the FA-18E in the air. Maintain 350 knots and keep above 10,000 feet. I want you to show me how you execute a split S, a classic maneuver. Let's start by rolling 180 degrees into an inverted attitude. All right, we're gonna go inverted. Pull back on the stick. Keep the maneuver fluid. Pull on back now.
I lost way too much altitude and I know exactly Great why. Job. Very impressive performance. But that was it. That was the first take. We honestly almost crashed because I didn't throttle back. I was maintaining the throttle. So we were going in that turn at 500 knots. But um, if I do that again, I would have gone a bit slower. Uh, but 9,593 points. A lot of it is at the end. Uh, I just made sure not to exceed 7.5 Gs. I think I might have hit 7 max. Um, but that's the criteria here. And that'll do it. Those were the three F-A-18E training missions, high performance takeoff, ridge crossing, and split S maneuver. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the training uh, flights. They're really short. However, they are a good difficulty. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Comment down below any feedback for the video. Flight suggestions or video suggestions is always greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications so you know when we post any new it's aviation time related content, including the next few videos, the challenges.